hey guys and welcome back to another video so today we're gonna do uh unboxing and this unboxing is of the camp chef grill now uh, i'll be honest with you guys i don't know if this is a new product for them because i don't recall them having this available so this might be something new now that they have noticed that lodge no longer produces their sportsman original sportsman grill so uh this you know this is a smart move i'll be honest for camp chef smart move because a lot of people do like the older design so anyway moving on to the unboxing uh, as you can see very well packaged i do like that it is wrapped in some plastic so we're not going to get it extremely dusty extremely dirty uh, and also we got some thick cardboard in between the parts uh, to prevent them from rubbing up against each other during transit or possibly breaking. So that is a also a plus. I do like that a lot. Uh, and as I mentioned, everything is wrapped in plastic. Now, moving on to the grill grate, I do like the small ridges that the grill grate has. This is a very nice addition. Uh, Lodge, you guys please if you guys would have done this i think people would have been happy but anyway let's keep going so the width on the grill grate uh the it is um you know the opening is wider so that is a a nice touch as well and as i mentioned they also added those small ridges on the top side so i want to say you might get better results searing you know to get those sear marks that some people like the uh charcoal grate very similar to the lodge uh no big noticeable difference between this one and the lodge so um, that's as i mentioned pretty pretty similar uh, now the fireball one thing that i did notice is that it actually is already pre-assembled so if you ever actually opened or unboxed uh, a new sportsman grill you do have to put it together so this one as i mentioned i thought i needed my screwdriver and maybe a, a wrench but no everything is already placed together so that is a nice addition as well so um, camp chef good job uh, one thing that i did notice with the uh the handle is that it is offset forward so i'm thinking that perhaps that is to ensure that it doesn't tilt when you lift it so uh, the handle is also very sturdy one thing that i don't like about the handle is that it is chrome and if you stick this in the oven sometimes that chrome tends to flake off so if you want to season your fire bowl it's it's going to be you know that handle could possibly flake and uh, that chrome plating might just kind of peel off. So that's one, one of the downsides. Uh, the bottom, as I mentioned, uh, very similar to the lodge. Uh, also, the feet on this one, very, very short compared to the lodge. That's one thing that I did notice. The other thing is that the fire bowl is actually a lot taller. So it is deeper. So that might be a plus, to be honest. Um, you might have more uh, real estate in, in how much charcoal you can get in there. So that's that's a nice benefit. So maybe longer lasting cooks, that would be a possibly a, a, a thing. You know, if, if you want to add a good amount of charcoal in there and uh, have it last for about two to three hours, that would be awesome. And not having to refill, you know, constantly, that would be nice. So that is, like I mentioned, a nice uh, addition. And as I as I had mentioned as well, lodge please if you guys would have just redesigned it for me and this is me my personal opinion this is my rant guys um some people love the new pro grill so do i but i do wish that they would have maintained the uh, sportsman grill in the lineup as well fire door is the only thing that has their uh their you know stamping their name on it their logo uh the fire bowl and the underside have nothing so that's it doesn't even uh, have where it's made so uh, that's one thing to note. The other thing is that the draft door here, I could tell it is a lot thicker. And this part is where it touches the fire, the fireball. So uh, if you guys ever owned any of the sportsman grills, um, they did tend to warp. If you had extreme heat, the fire door could warp. The draft door could warp. The grill grate or the uh, charcoal grate they were all prone to warp if you had a lot of uh, heat in there. So... The instructions very simple obviously nothing uh, to you know no tools required honestly you just have to put it together so that's as i mentioned a, a nice touch uh, if you guys want to pause the video real quick to do so to read this you guys can do so but uh very simple as i mentioned not, not much here uh except for you know some information as in acidity if you guys are going to cook acidic foods also have some precaution 
cleaning maintenance seasoning and also seasoning so if you guys want to pause you guys can go ahead and read this but um very you know very simple thing and and if you guys have any cast iron you guys do sh should or probably know that cooking acidic food can affect your seasoning so i think that's why they add that in the notes uh, and as i mentioned here you can see all the parts that go to it very similar to the sportsman grill so so far very impressed with the camp chef i like the opening and closing of the fire door that is a nice touch and it, as i mentioned this probably will even give you better access to your to your your coals or your charcoal whatever you have in there uh, if you want to move around or add i feel like the the depth of that fire bowl is gonna give you more room to you know move things around the draft door slides really well and as i mentioned the thing that i love the most about this grill so far is the ridges on this grill grate i'm very excited and i do look forward to cooking something on this so i can give you guys uh, my initial review but look forward to that in a future date uh, the inside as i mentioned a uh, good amount of real estate for charcoal so that is a huge plus the other thing is that you can actually flip this around if you want to get you know a uh, higher heat you can flip it around and uh, possibly do a quick sear uh, whether it's a steak or anything of that nature and as i mentioned the uh, handle is offset to the front side and as i mentioned i do think it is so that uh, when you lift it it won't uh, tilt forward so if you guys ever had any of the uh, original sportsman grills they did tend to lean forward and things could fall so anyway i did test it and yes it actually does stay uh, level so that is a huge plus and again i'll say it again lodge if you guys would have just done these small updates a lot of people would have been happy uh you know and i speak for myself i would have been happy uh, if lodge would have just updated the sportsman grill and not necessarily changed the you know the look of it but either way i'm not you know ranting against the pro grill i do like the pro grill as well and i also like the kickoff grill and you know all the things that they have produced so far have been great but i do wish they bring back the uh sportsman grill and the grill grate on the camp chef is a smidge smaller not too much but you can see here it is a bit smaller and um, i also want to see if uh, we can uh, interchange the parts so will the camp chef real great work on the lodge we're going to see in a minute here and uh it looks like it's not going to work so yeah um the camp chef has wider feet than the lodge so let me show you guys in a minute here as you can see the feet on the camp chef like i mentioned a lot wider so it's not going to sit uh you know level and it's not going to be safe there so i wouldn't recommend you trying to interchange the parts it's not going to work uh, and the fire door, I, I can tell right away, the fire doors are a different size, different dimension. So I don't think the fire door is going to work. Possibly the uh, the only thing that possibly might work would be the uh, draft door or the charcoal grate. So, you know, those are possibly the only things. But at this point, it really doesn't matter because uh, Camp Chef does have this available on sale. And I'm sure this is something that's going to be a hot seller for them. So... Uh, if you guys want to pick this up, campchef.com, you guys can pick it up. And I'm not, you know, sponsored. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video. I, This is myself. And uh, so far, I'm very impressed. And measuring the bottom of the feet for the Camp Chef, it is one inch. And the lodge is actually one, one and a half. So a half inch difference on the, on the feet. And the bowl on the lodge is about five inches and the bowl in the camp chef is five and a half. So it is that half inch overall it is going to give you more charcoal real estate, which is, as I mentioned, a nice touch. Very excited to give that a go soon. And uh, just for, you know, showing you guys demonstration, no, it's not going to work. The fire door is not going to be the same size as the one from the lodge. So. We're going to check the draft doors but uh yeah you you can tell here that uh well you guys can't see it but the angle on the fire bowl for the camp chef is different from the lodge so there is a small gap it's not going to work so even the fire door is not going to be interchangeable i'm sorry the draft door not interchangeable and as i mentioned at this point i don't think it matters the only thing that might actually just be interchangeable would be the charcoal grate um, so we're going to give that a go and see if uh, that actually is the same dimensions or the same size. And uh, 
it is actually not the lodge is a little bit bigger than the camp chef as you can see here yeah but one thing that i did notice uh, right now checking this is that the lodge has a groove to keep the uh, charcoal grate stable and this one the camp chef does not as you can see here it just has a flat surface it doesn't have that small groove where the uh, charcoal grate can sit so that it sits in one place uh, it just kind of moves around slides around I'll show you guys here in a minute yeah see it just moves around so that's one thing to note um, I do wish that they would have done something like this that lodge has see it, it just stays in place it doesn't move around so yeah um, that's a nice you know uh, thing that the sportsman grill does have so I do like that a lot you can see this little groove here keeps the uh, charcoal grate in place and uh, preventing your charcoal to be moving around or um, not that you're going to be, you know, shuffling around, but if you want to add some more charcoal, that could be an issue, I guess. Maybe it tends to move around and that could be an issue, but I don't think that's going to be a big problem. So um, other than that, everything about the Camp Chef is just phenomenal. I do like it a lot. So far, very impressed with the uh, the way it was, you know, built, the way they thought about building it. So far, as I mentioned, I do like the Camp Chef a lot. So here I'm trying to show you guys a little bit of the difference. So the lodge is obviously asymmetrical um, it's just um, you know or symmetrical sits you know in dead in the middle and that's the problem is that when you lift it uh, the weight in the front makes it tilt to the you know forward so uh, parts can tip over can fall out so you do have to be careful when you pick it up a lot of people just remove those parts and put them inside the fireball with but with the camp chef they did think that through and uh, it is a very nice touch again lodge if you guys are watching this or if you guys watch this please bring back the sportsman grill camp chef you guys did a great job this is a uh, amazing product so far uh, i'm just going to do a a cooking review soon so look forward to that but so far very impressed with this anyway guys i appreciate your time and as always thank you guys for watching